Hi, I'm Julie from the Woohoo Woodshop, and today we're going to be assembling a 12 pointed clothes drying rack. Inside your kit, you should have received two sets of pieces that have hooks on them, 12 pieces that have a partially drilled hole, 12 pieces that have a fully drilled hole, and 12 pieces that are connected already. So the important thing you should know before starting is to notice that these have a short side and a long side. The short side will always go to the inside of the circle. If you have them turned as you're assembling, your rack is not going to turn into a circle and that's going to be a problem. So be very careful. So let's get started. We're going to start with all of these pieces. This is one half of the closed rack. We're going to put uh, insert the dowels and then we're going to move on to the to the other half which is not screwed together yet. You should have received a bunch of these pins which we're going to use on the second half of, um, of assembly. You should have a small bottle of thread locker and a bottle of wood glue. I'm using these full size bottles. What came in your kit are small size bottles and those will be perfect. Um, if you come across any scratches, I suggest a piece of, this is 320, 320 grit, 400 grit sandpaper is perfect for getting out any minor scratches or um, if, the, if the Loctite stuff leaks like it does here. You can actually take that screw out, hit it with a little sandpaper, and that'll come right off. So uh, let's get to assembling. I'm going to pause the video, set these out, and come right back. Okay, so in the set that you have, the ones that are screwed together already, the, um, the flathead part of the Chicago screw will be towards the inside of the rack. So the dowels are going to go in here. And then the outside, you can always tell the outside because it has the half drilled holes and it's nice and smooth and clean finish on the outside so it can really only go together one way. So I like to start with the hook and the hook is going to be on the inside. You have an outside with half drilled and you have inside that's fully drilled. The first one begins with a hook. The other side of this one has the notch uh, on the short side. Um, so you can see the Chicago pins, one side is flat and one side has a slot. So all the slots should be facing towards you and I put all the small halves towards my body and the longer halves away from my body so it's going to curve like a rainbow around me as I'm making this. So I just started with a few pieces here just to get going. Um, so we take our first dowel and we're going to start at the first hole. It's going to go through the first hole and it's going to sit into this hole. We want to put a little bit of glue in there, just about a drop or two, just enough to hold it and well, um, the wood glue is really strong so it'll be good. Okay, I've got a little bit of glue down in the hole. It's about two drops. You don't want to put too much because if it leaks out and gets on the face of the wood, squeezing between the two boards, it could create a problem. So you want to just put it in there just enough, not too much. Then you take your dowel that's through the top piece, push it into the bottom piece, line it up, and if you have to you have to really push it in there, a good idea is to put a little piece of wood on the top of this to protect the end and then tap it with a hammer. Hold on. Okay, my first piece has been tapped in. I used a little piece of wood at the top of this and hit it with a hammer. Not too hard, um, but just enough for it to go firmly into that hole. So the next one we're gonna do We'll do the top. So we'll go top, bottom, and then back up to the top. We'll do these two, and then we'll do these two. 
So we'll just follow in a zigzag along the whole pattern and uh, I'll do a couple of more and come back a little bit of glue in this hole. Oh, I can't really see what I'm doing. So you can see that I overshot it. So I'll just clean that up. I don't think that's quite enough. bunch of glue then we line up the two holes sometimes in order to get them line up you have to squeeze them a little bit just to get to the right spot insert the dowel and I don't know what I'm I can't it's very hard to do this with one hand Okay, so I'm going to get that in. I'm going to hit it with the hammer a little bit to tap it down. So I have that one in. And now we're going to start. We're going to go back to the small side. Add our glue. It's really easiest if you first line up the holes. Have your dowel ready and insert it. Press it in. You'll know it's in all the way when all the dowels are at the same height. You can tell that one is not in yet. I tamped it down and now you can see that they are, all the dowels are beginning to be just about the same height. So at this point, we have three dowels in and it's starting to come together. Let's um, move back up to the top, add glue, add the dowel, and all right, I am continuing along pretty quickly. Uh, I already have glue in that hole. Line them up. Stick my dowel in, it lines up. Place my next piece. Let me do this one. bit of glue, line it up, add the dowel, So I'm going to keep doing this over and over again until I have no more connected pieces left. Always conscious that my small half is going to be on one side and the larger half is on the other side. Slot it side up, small half, I've got them going on my left. Add in some glue. Bring my towels over. That one really nice. Mm. Might be a good idea to work with a Next piece, screw up, 
Short pie to the left. Already put glue in these holes. So, in order to line it up, I'm getting to a point where I have to squeeze and open it just to get them all to sync up. Perfect, right there. And this is really taking shape. It needs a little bit of a whack. You don't always need it, but sometimes you can go back, see which ones are a little bit taller than the others, and get on top of that. Next piece screw the slotted side up, short side to the left. And this one's already glued, so I'm gonna go ahead and do it. Four X's left. I'm just gonna bring them all over. Slide it side up, short side to the left. As long as you have that down, this is gonna come out perfectly. Okay, that one again. Give it a little tap anyway. Good measure. And always make sure you don't skip any. Spot and they line up perfect. Line the stickers on there, and that one went in. I added glue to all of my last few connections. Added my rods. That one went in well. Good. A few more here. So it may look like you've got too many rods or not enough pieces, but you have just the right amount. So, because you need to have an extra rod in order for the clips to clip onto. So on your very last piece here, this hole and this hole, these are what are going to hook up when you make the full circle. So this one is going to slide through, come through the other side, just a little bit. And that's it, it just stays there with friction, it's fine. And the last one is just going to stick in that side, and that's it. This half of your rack is complete. Now to move on to the tricky side, which is the other half. We're going to flip over the entire unit so that it's standing up on 24 of wood. Starting again with the hook piece, you want to make sure where your hook is on the other side and 
slot faces in on the small side of your piece must be on the same I'm going to keep them on the left slot up small half on the left so I've got a slot here and a slot on the top and I have a hook here on the inside piece and the hook is here on the inside piece these don't get any rods through them these do so I'm going to lift the unit a little bit slip that through and now you don't want to put it in here just yet we need all right so I've got all my pieces up on the table now I've got 12 pieces with a hole that goes straight through and I have 12 pieces with half a hole again being careful to note this is the small side and this is the large side so all the pieces with only half a hole are going to go on the bottom on the outside it's going to match the outside of the of the top um, so this is the tricky part this piece here with the hook has a hole that goes all the way through and then you want to put on all the pieces that have a hole that go all the way through add them all in first and you can slide them up so you have a little bit of room to work so now this is going to go from that one it's going to sit on top of this one so this first loose piece that you're adding on is going to go on the second dowel on the left side and on the first dowel on the right side and it's going to go inside of this first hole we can glue it in I don't want to glue it in yet <laughs> I want to put all these pieces on first, making sure again, this is my short side, this is the long side. Short side always goes to the left. This is on the third dowel on the left side, and on the second dowel on the right side. Put it on and slide it up. Carrying on. You really have to sort of slide them up evenly, otherwise they just get stuck. Short side on the left. Feed it through the dowels. Now low and pull it up. And check again, always keep checking. Short side to the left. Okay. I'm gonna take on pile. Um, this is good, perfect. I have three pieces left. Oh, these two are turned. Short side to the left. I have one, two, three, four dowels left here. Um, I might have one mixed in on the wrong side. Oh, a little bit tight, but it's fine. It just has to go up a little bit. It doesn't have to go all the way up because it's going to be set back down again and screwed in. And the next step. See where I go. Okay. So here I am at the end. I have one free dowel. And I'm pretty sure this has to be. Yes, because then we have our pieces with no hole on one side, the partially drilled hole, these all go on the outside. Um, so 
So we already know that this first dowel on the right is going to go into this pocket. I'm going to glue that in now. And set it. It feels like it went in there pretty firmly. If you need more space, you can open the rack up from the top, and the dowels will give you a little bit. Will give you a little more space between the dowels. So I'm going to add in my next piece here. It's got a pocket on both sides. Small half will be on the left. Slipping it underneath, it's going to follow the same angle as the one as the first one. The, the left half hole is going to go under the first dowel, so we could add some glue in that. Slip it underneath, press the dowel in, and it's actually going to come across to the right side and it's going to be the cap for the second dowel. So we can put some glue in there and stick that down. And we will follow this pattern all the way till we get to the other side. That one doesn't feel like it's going in very well. So again, what I'm going to do here so this should be on my end. And as I add pieces to this last step, they're going to be closer and closer to finished. I'm actually going to put glue in both holes before I set either dowel. Glue there, glue here. So the left one. That one pressed in pretty well. Set the right one. That one didn't budge. So now that I have that piece, I can actually drop my first inside piece a little bit. So I can see what I'm doing. So my third dowel did not go all the way into the pocket at the bottom. I give it a whack. Not so hard. Just so I feel it fell in there. Not, not in yet. You can kind of, kind of tell when it's in when it's the same. It has pressure on it. You can, can you see that? This one has no pressure, and this one does. That means that this dowel is not all the way in. No dowel should have more pressure than the others. See, it's a little, it has a little bit less pressure on it now. So that means that dowel is pretty much in. That's good. Um, moving on. Small part to the left. Put my glue in there. So the right side is going to be under the one, two, three, fourth dowel. And that one actually went in. That's good. And the left is going to be the third dowel. I've got a little banging, but that's what work. That feels pretty good. Oh, this one here seems to still be stuck. All right. Next piece. Two up side to the left. And the glue. Put the glue to the right side. Sorry if my arms are in the way. I can't see with the camera. It's filming at all. This one's going in the fifth dowel, the left side is going in the fourth dowel. That one went on perfectly. No struggle. I like that. Next piece. <clears throat> and you have to be very careful to not skip any dowels as you go along, or it's not going to go together properly. And you have to take it all apart to fix it, and that's not fun. I'm going to do this right the first time. Small side on the left, long side on the right. I'm actually going to set up a couple here, and I'm going to start gluing them. Small side on the left.
you go ahead and put glue in every single pocket, every single half to a hole. You could work all one side, but I don't recommend it. I think it's better to go meticulously one side, left than right, just to make sure I don't have any mistakes. So I can kind of feel that this dowel is not in all the way. Oops. My, uh, the block that I'm using to whack with is falling apart. Sometimes it's good to go back and give them all a little bit of a whack. This one, you see this one's not moving when I wiggle it? It's because the dowel's not all the way in. There it goes. That's much better than how it should be. This one, <coughs> I don't think this one's all the way in. There's a lot of pressure on else. So, this one is fully in. Moving on to the next piece. That's what this one is. Over there. This dowel goes in here. I'm going to press that one in. And then we're going over to the left side. <coughs> this one goes there. This one will be a piece. Then there's the bag of dowel. It will go in. The reason why you want a hammer on top of a little block or some kind of something is so that you don't damage the cedar. Because it's very soft and you can very easily put marks in it from the hammerhead. And then your beautiful back is not going to be so beautiful. <laughs> the camera is on the board. This one's just not in. It just won't go in. There it goes. Very nice. I got three more pieces left. To the right side. Come around to the left side. And I'll push that one in. Let this one go in. Nope. Again, it's standing on that leg. It's too much pressure. So I'm gonna give it a whack. So this one, now it's the last one. <laughs> so if you notice that over here, oh, my phone's about to fall. This one does not have a top piece. That's because this will accept the hook from the other side. This side here does not have a bottom piece, and that's because this is going to accept the notch on the other side when it's fully closed. Oops, where's my piece? So, Feels pretty complete. That's it for all the whacking. <laughs> whacking the screws. Uh, whacking the dowels. We have one step left. And that is to add in, to screw all these pieces together using the thread locker that was provided to you, and a little screwdriver. So the way we do this, let me 
you see what I'm doing? Yeah. Okay, so all your little holes here should all be to the left side a little bit. Because that's the way that we put it together. So you want to spread these out a little bit and give yourself a little bit of room to work. And this is why your top pieces are raised up a little bit so you can get underneath. We want all these to be with a smooth side on the bottom. So you lift this a little bit, you slip this underneath, you see it comes up through the piece. This is the stage where we use the thread locker. It's got a long point on it. You want to put just one drop inside of that screw on those threads. Nice and neat. Oh, I got a little bit on there. It's okay, I'll sand it off. This stuff does stain the wood. So be careful. That looks better. Um, and then we have the threaded side. So we'll push this down. And line it up so that when you push it down, it goes right down on top of this piece that's sticking up. There it goes. So it's just below the surface of the wood. You put in your threaded piece and screw it on. That thread locker will keep these from falling apart as you open and close it while you're using it. You don't want to tighten this down too tight because you don't want to dent the wood. It's not necessary. Take the next one, go underneath, find the hole, push it through, add a drop of thread locker. Lower your top piece down on it. They should line up pretty well. Put this in, screw it down. That's it. This is the easy part, kids. And, you know, these slots are pretty big, so if you have a big screwdriver, it might be easier. My screwdriver is a little bit small. Um, you know, I think it's just spinning at this point, so sometimes you have to reach underneath and hold the other side of the screw so that it can tighten. There it goes. And we'll have it lifted and stick the next one in. You can actually go along and stick all of them in if you feel like it. Now that you have a feel of what you're doing, you gotta be careful you don't scratch up the wood while you're feeling for the little hole. So I am gonna go through and add in all of all of these things. Let's go in there. So I didn't put them all on, but that's enough. <laughs> Drop a thread locker. 
set my piece down. You want to make sure you don't use too much thread locker because if you do, it'll squeeze out and get on the wood. And then the only really way to fix that is to take the screw out and sand it and put it back in again, which means double the work. And we don't want you to have to do double the work. I think that was too much. So that was too much in that little hole. So I'm just use a paper towel and take some out. I'll use a Q-tip for that also. It's getting pretty hard to see all the way down in here, so I'll close it up a little bit. Line these up.
So I turn this around and make it easier on myself. I try not to turn it around too much while I'm working on it, just to um, keep from getting confused. But at this point, you're not worried about short sides and long sides anymore. I mean, I really just have one, two, three, four screws left, and it is complete. Chicago pins left. Um, we should have included a few extras in your kit because sometimes they do break. Um, if there's too much stress on them, they are aluminum, they're soft, and um, just in case they do break, you have another couple there. I'm just putting my last four in. All at once. And if you are, if these pieces seem to be stuck and not moving right, it's probably because they're crooked. If they're straight, they should slide. If they're crooked, they'll jam up, and you'll have a little trouble with them. So you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to put a little thread locker in all four of them at the same time. That one drifts a little bit. I want to make sure that we're not going to make a mess out of this stuff. And four more screw heads. Bring it up and drop it down. I'm going to do all four of them at the same time. Line it up. Last one. Okay. splinter inside of that one. I'm just cutting it out. You can't see directly underneath the screw anyway, so if it's not perfect, that's fine. And get a little bit of something on here. And close up my thread locker. Done with that. Take my sandpaper. I'm just clean that up. That looks better. These last four in, and we're ready for a test.
All right, we're complete. All right, so this is our finished rack, and let's open it up. Covered by both sides. And it's about as long as I am, and it's about as tall as I am. So this part is a little tricky for me, but not so bad. So you notice at the top we have the hooks. The hooks are going to go on the inside of the top pieces, and these notches are going to go on the outside onto little nubs of dowel that you have sticking out on the bottom. So if you line up the hooks, to the inside. Oh, that's a little snug. See that just hooked right on? I'm gonna come around because I'm too short. Hook that on. This little dowel you can see underneath that it's gonna it's gonna slip right in there. And that just popped in perfect. This side here, slide it in. When you slide that in, the hook locks, and you're all set! Isn't it gorgeous? And you did it! Thank you so much! Julie from the Woohoo Woodshop. Have a Merry Christmas!